Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you uh, the second part of this product review video. I did the first part a few weeks back. This is the Zimmy Smart Combo Pack. Uh, the first part, of course, was the dimmer switch uh, that I set up in my bedroom. Uh, this one is going to be the smart plug switch. I'm not sure what exactly you want to call it. Basically has uh, two wall plugs and a USB port. So we're going to get this installed and see if we can't get Tasmoda up and going on it and see how well that will work. Now again, I've seen this for sale on, of course, Zimmy Smart's website as well as Ally Express. Um, and supposedly you can make some match. Again, I was unable to get that to work, but you may check out their website. Uh, maybe I just didn't go far enough into the purchase to uh, see how to make the different selections. Another thing I was going to mention, guys, is that the people over at Zimmy Smart also just sent me a notice to let me know that they're having a huge sale on all of their uh, Zimmy Smart products on Amazon's website for Black Friday. Now, the Black Friday sale is running from, I think, November 29th through December 2nd. Uh, so if you were considering picking up any Zimmy Smart products, you definitely want to try to take advantage of that sale. All the Zimmy Smart products that they have listed on Amazon will be on sale. Uh, as you can see here, it's going to be up to 39% off. Even this combo pack is going to be on there, and I'm pretty sure from what I read that the discount was going to be like just over 30 bucks or something like that for that combo pack. So definitely worth uh, checking out if you guys are wanting to pick some of this stuff up. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So of course, uh, for starters, we'll do a recap of unboxing the device. I know I did that in the first video, but we'll do it one more time here. Uh, then of course. We're going to install the plugs in my uh, wall in the living room. Uh, once we get those installed, then of course we're going to attempt to flash with Tasmoda custom firmware. Uh, we'll be using Tuya Convert for that. If everything goes well, then of course we're going to configure Tasmoda so that it will uh, be set up. Then we're going to add it into Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, we kind of ran through this unboxing already before, so we'll just kind of do this quickly here. Uh, again, this was a, a two-pack, so it had two devices in it. We already did the dimmer switch in the previous video, so today, of course, we're working on the, uh, the plugs. Everything that you need to install this actually comes in the box. I mean, it has wire nuts, it has screws to screw it into the uh, wall box. It even has the instructions for how to... Uh, set it up with their Tuya Smart app. Should be fairly easy to install. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump on to the next step. <laughs> so this is the wall plugs uh, I'm going to uh, replace with this uh, new uh, outlet. Just a regular old uh, single gang wall plug. All right, so in order to make this work, I had to get a new uh, single uh, wall plate. Uh, because this is a different type of uh, outlet. Uh, I've got my uh, wire cutters here. If I need to trim anything down, of course, we got all the wire nuts and screws and everything. So this should go pretty smooth. Got my screwdriver. All right, so we'll kind of fast forward here. So, uh, of course, here it is. It's installed in my wall. Before I screw everything back in, I always like to turn the breaker back on just to make sure that everything is looking good and working properly. Uh, as you can see here, I've powered on the breaker, and it does currently have a light on it, so we have power going to it. Uh, I haven't done anything else with it yet, so uh, I think at this point we're good to go ahead and finish installing it in the wall. All right, so as you can see here, we have it installed in the wall now. It has a button uh, on the side here, one for the top plug to turn it on and off, and one for the bottom plug to turn it on and off. There's not a button for the USB so uh, I'm guessing that either will stay on all the time or you'll just have to remotely turn it on and off but everything looks good so I think we are ready to move on to the next step and attempt to flash it with Tasmoda. Alright so we're going to be using Tuya Convert for this uh, so of course I have that running on my Raspberry Pi here. 
I'll put a link to uh, DigiBlur's uh, YouTube video on how to get that set up. Uh, if you don't already have to, you convert running on a device, so that way uh, you'll be able to do this yourself. Basically, once we have it up and running, then we're going to do a... Um, We'll move into that to you convert directory and we'll do a start underscore flash dot sh. Uh, that's the shell script that will kick off the install. Basically follow all the instructions. Of course you'll have to add your uh, phone or uh, tablet to the uh, vtrust dash flash uh, Wi-Fi SSID in order for everything to work properly. And in order to get this device in flashing mode all we need to do is just hold down one of the buttons until you start to see it flashing green. Basically once it does that you know it's in flashing mode and you are ready to get this thing set up with Tasmoto. And don't get discouraged if it takes two or three times for this to uh, to run through and, not, and actually do the flashing. It doesn't always work on the first try. We'll kind of fast forward here. As you can see I've got it going now. It, it ran for a little bit and then started flashing. Everything looks good. All we need to do now is basically uh, copy this last line here and paste it. We'll do that here. It should finish the install and reboot. At that point, I think we're ready to uh, move on to that next step. All right, so um, once you get your device added to your Wi-Fi network, I'm not going to go through that because that's pretty simple and easy to do. Uh, but once we do that, we're going to need to get it configured properly for the type of uh, wild that it is. Now, I managed to find a, a template for something similar uh, to the, the one that I have here. Uh, now, this one is not made by Zimmy Smart. But it looks pretty much identical, so I have a feeling it's going to be the same device. What it does say here in the template, uh, it lists this one here at the top, and it says there are different versions of this. So uh, you can click on this link below to see the different versions. Uh, so what I ended up doing is, uh, so I, I'm not going to show you here, but I tried that first one at the top. That one did not work. Uh, so I did end up going to this link and taking advantage of one of the other ones. And I'll have the link down below in the description so that you can check it out for yourself. But basically here is the template that worked for me. Uh, I'm just going to call on LR plugs for living room plugs. And then we'll kind of go through everything here. And I'll list out the different pinouts that I use for mine. And I'm also I'm going to add it to the template list on Tasmoda's page for this specific plug and everything. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet, but I will. Basically, once we get our template in there that we want to use, then we will uh, go ahead and save it, give it a chance to reboot. Once it comes back up, then of course we'll need to go into configure uh, module and select our template. I uh, called mine LR plugs. There it is. Well, and of course, it'll have to reboot one more time. And as you can see, now it came up with the three plugs. Uh, so one for the top, one for the bottom, and I'm assuming that the third one is going to be the USB. I think that's the order that it's going to run down. Alright, so the only other configuration that we have to do in order for this to uh, to work with Home Assistant is, of course, we need to set up uh, our MQTT configuration. Uh, so basically just go into the MQTT config, uh, give it the host name of our uh, MQTT server, username, password, any other configuration that you want to set up. Uh, I usually change the client name and everything to uh, represent whatever device it is that I'm using. I'm going to change mine to LR Plugs. And I'll update the uh, topic information below as well. Again, once all that's in there, we'll go ahead and save it. And it should restart one last time. At this point, we are now ready to move on to the next step. All right, so uh, we are gonna get this added into Home Assistant. Now, in order to do this, we're gonna be editing our switches.yaml file here. Look for an open spot down here somewhere. And for this, we'll have three different 
switches uh, that we're going to add into Home Assistant. One for the top plug, one for the bottom plug, and then a third one for that USB port. We should be able to turn all three of them on and off. All right, so the platform, of course, is MQTT. Uh, the name will be, uh, at least for the first one, I'm just going to say Living Room Plug 1. Could have gone with Living Room Plug Top, I guess, but we're going to stick with 1, 2, uh, you know, that type of naming scheme here. Command topic uh, will be whatever I set up in my uh, MQTT configuration. So mine will be Zimmy slash CMND slash LR dash plugs slash Power 1 because it is the first plug in the group. State topic will pretty much be the same. It'll be Zimmy slash STAT for state slash LR dash plugs slash power one. Payload on will be on in all caps. Payload off will be off in all caps. And of course we'll set the retain for to true. Uh, the second one, of course, will be pretty much the same. The platform is still MQTT. I'm going to go ahead and name this one Living Room Plug 2. And the command topic and state topics will be the same, except for the very end. Instead of it saying Power 1, we're going to go ahead and say Power 2 here. Payload on and off, of course, is on and off in all caps. And again, we'll set the retain to true. And for the third one, I'm going to call this one Living Room Plug USB, just to kind of separate it out a little bit. Uh, for the command topic and state topic, again, fairly similar, but for this one, but this one will be Power 3, because it is the third device in the Tasmoda configuration. So again, the payload on and off will be on and off in all caps. Uh, the retain is true. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then we're going to jump over to the uh, web interface here and just check our configuration and of course to restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. We'll give that a second to come back up and go ahead and jump on to that last step. All right, so here is my wall outlet all set up. I even have a device plugged into the USB port so we can fully test all this out. Down in the bottom corner is my Home Assistant card with these three devices added to it. So we're just gonna kind of switch everything on and off. We'll switch that top on off. And of course, when we do, the little amber light goes off at the top at the same time. So we know that top plug is off. We'll go ahead and switch it back on. As you can see, it immediately came back on. We'll do the same thing for the uh, second one. You turn that off in Home Assistant. Of course, the bottom amber light goes off and it will come back on as well. Now for the third one, since there's not an actual light to show you what it is, I hooked up this device. Uh, it's my iPad, so we're gonna go ahead and switch that third one off. We'll see it's currently turned on. And as soon as I switched it off, the power charging or whatever on my iPad went off. And then of course we'll switch it back on. And, and as you can see, my iPad is now charging again. So obviously it came back on. That's it guys. Now one last thing I did want to show you is that uh, if you use these buttons, they do work. So the top one turns it off. As you can see there, we'll turn it back on. The bottom one will turn the bottom one off and back on. So that looks good there as well. That's the end of the video, guys. As you can see, we've uh, added another Zimmy smart device uh, with Tasmoda, which we use with 2U Convert, into Home Assistant. And it worked great. So definitely uh, worth checking that out. I mean, the uh, to me, I think this combo set is a, a nice little pack. Two devices, uh, you know, under 50 bucks. Thought it works out pretty well. Um, Lots of different choices there. Like I said, the first, uh, the dimmer switch works great. Um, of course, they have several other different types of devices, plugs, and regular switches that you can get as well uh, to make out whatever uh, two devices you want in your combo pack. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, for starters, we unboxed the device. Uh, basically, just a recap of that since we already did it in the first video. Uh, then we installed the plugs in the wall. Uh, once we got them installed and everything was running properly, we uh, flashed them with Tasmoda firmware using uh, Tuya Convert, and everything went smoothly. 
for that. And then uh, for the next step, we were able to uh, configure Tasmoda so that everything would work uh, as we needed it to. And we were able to get it added into Home Assistant. And of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I really like Zimmy Smart's uh, products. A lot of them work really well. Uh, I know we ran into a snag with some things like their uh, smoke sensor, but for the most part, uh, their product line has been pretty uh, pretty smooth and very easy to get added uh, uh, with Tasmoda custom firmware and added into Home Assistant everything uh, exactly how we like to do it. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.